What's up everybody? Welcome back to my Pokemon Fire Red Chronological Nuzlocke Challenge and Merry Christmas! Merry belated Christmas, I should say. And we are going to the Pokemon Mansion! What a mansion! And this is a place where we can find uh, more... Growlithe, but maybe we'll find something else. A coffin! Have not caught one of those, so that would not be a terrible catch. Uh, I'm gonna switch... Who's got something that I can use? Oh, Sergeant Shock, that's right. Sergeant Shock has the Swift, which will hit every time and not do too much damage. That's about half, so we can throw out... Uh, you know what we can go to? We can go to the goddamn Mart here in Cinnabar and actually, you know, get some good Pokeballs instead of these Great Balls that apparently catch in one shot every fucking time, so what the hell am I talking about? So we catch the Coughing. And it's an urban Pokemon. Its thin, balloon-like body is inflated by horribly toxic gases. It reeks when it is nearby. So I'm gonna call this coughing... I'm gonna nickname this coughing Christmas! Cause I caught this coughing on Christmas. That's when I'm recording this. And it'll be a nice reminder in like... Two weeks or three weeks, whenever the hell the I... Record some shit. Wow, I did not spell Christmas right there. Holy shit. All right. There it is Chris Christmas there it is Christmas Jesus. All right shouldn't be that hard we catch Christmas put it in box one and There's another coffin. Let's just body slam that shit And get out of here some good experience. Uh, I'm gonna put Bowser in front because whoops, okay because Bowser can get some experience here, and... Oh god. And... We'll run into some fire Pokemon in there too, so it'll be nice. Actually, they only sell... Oh no, what the hell am I saying? There's an Ultra Ball right there. Uh... Eight. I'm gonna go with, and I'm gonna get two more of these. And I'll sell some shit, uh... When I'm... That door's locked, apparently. Who cares? Pokemon Mansion! We're back. Alright, we caught the coffin, so... Now we can explore this place. There's a Growlithe. We can dig and uh, super effective that guy out of there. Up to level one for Bow uh, 41 for Bowser. And I'm gonna leave Bowser in because something super special happens with Bowser at the level 42, so let's stay in for that. Am I gonna fight this guy? Nope, I'm gonna find a Rattata. I can use Rock Blast on that thing. Probably could use Strength and it'd have been a lot easier, but... Whoa, you startled me! I thought you were a ghost! There are ghosts in the Pokemon Mansion? This isn't the Pokemon Tower. Quit being a little scaredy cat, Johnson. Johnson's got a Ekans, which takes down my attack, but that's fine. We can bring in Fluffy. This is a super power Growlithe. You've seen these around here. They will uh, destroy your butt. Just like an Ember will uh, heat up your butt, and it'll make it super hot. And now we're going to go back into Bowser because the... Intimidate's gone, and we got Eradicate out here. He's got Scary Face. Very Scary Face. But we defeat that. Bowser, about a fourth of the way up. There's a statue of Mewtwo here. It's a secret switch! Who wouldn't press it? Uh, no, not, not this time. I already pressed it. So, Eradicate, Growlithe. Oh god, I flinched. Eradicate, Growlithe, and fucking Coughing's in this place. So, Bowser getting some experience from the Eradicate. Escape rope, that might be useful here. More eradicate. Let's just use strength. Not very effective with that, you know, hyper fang and shit. Pursuit though? Pretty completely fine. It's a dark type move, so. I bet it doesn't do as much with eradicate, but it does more than fucking hyper fang does. Growlith! Bowser, I cannot wait till you're big old standing on your two two legs. Fucking ride on. That's gonna be great. Hit with recoil. God, girl, if you're dumb. Wow, I lived with nothing. I should use fucking. Oh, died from hit with the recoil. What a dumbass. Alright. So maybe. Uh, I'm gonna throw a. Just cause this is. I, I, whoop, I want to. There's a super repel. I want to get through this quickly enough. I want to get through the Pokemon Mansion in this episode. Oh, it's closed. Did I close that on myself? Let's check. I don't think so. Red eyes are on, meaning activated, motherfucker. 
All right, let's check. Did I close it down? I did close it down myself. I'm dumb. But I can't go that way now, so. And I can't, oh, well, I guess it was fine because I got that protein. Yeah, let's press it. And I, I think it stays activated if we go downstairs. But the repel wore off. So, oh god, self-destruct is not going to do anything against Bowser, though. That's why her up front, Bowser, because of those fucking coughings and their goddamn explosions. So, gosh, alright. Come on. Let's get... Oh, poisoned. That's not good. Let's let's go heal up quick. It's not going to die on the journey. So, heal up here, since we made it back to the front of the mansion anyway. Uh, eradicate. Not going to do much there. And a strength, I think, will actually almost do it. Yeah, that dig is... Let me look at this quick. Because dig... Uh, ground type is... I think ground type's a special attack in this generation. And right, Rhyhorn's attack is a lot higher than special defense. So even uh, with a ground type as partial to Rhyhorn, still not as effective as the strength. I can't get out! This old place is one big puzzle! Well, you go down the stairs... And you go out the door. It's not that hard to find, Bur Whoa, burglar! You look like a scientist! What the hell? These damn scientists burgling everything. I knew they were up to no good. Dig takes down the Charmander one shot. Bowser almost up to level 42. This one dig against this Charmeleon will... Boom! Will kill the Charmeleon! Bowser up to level 42! And we're gonna get the real deal Bowser up in this bitch. Oh no, my bag of loot! Thanks for the money, Ernie. Bowser is evolving! Oh damn! I am excited. Whoa, whoa! It's learning to walk! It's going from baby on four legs to man on two legs. Four, did I say four legs on all four? God. Your Bowser evolved to the right on! Now that's a Bowser. That's pretty much Bowser. I mean, for the most part, that's basically Bowser. Uh, but Bowser's gonna get put in the back. So Bowser won't be used uh, for a long time. Probably, like, during the gym battle will be the first time I'll actually see the evolved right on. July 10th, we christened the newly discovered Pokemon Mew. Mew? I thought it was called Mew too. What's this craziness you talking about, Mew? Coughing. I like I like how coughing says its name. Just cougher. I don't know. There's a lot of there's a couple of Pokemon that just say their name funny to me. It's 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 interesting, but I'm gonna talk just a little bit while we're just going through here. Um, I know I've talked about my fantasy football teams before. Uh, this last weekend were the fantasy football championships and both my teams of course won the championships I am the champion double champion uh, champ times two champ to the second power in fact and if you include uh, my brother's league that I drafted the team for him which I do uh, I won three different leagues and I, I count it because I drafted basically his entire team and he didn't change. I, I drafted his entire team and he really didn't change it at all. So I'm just happy about that. First time I've won fantasy football in like three years. But that was a four-team man a four team league and I really don't even count that as winning. But super excited about that. And I win a good amount of money. Like in total, I won like... Like, as a gain, after, like, the entry fee, about $200. So, it's not to spit at. It's a good amount of money. I mean, for me, just working, I make, like, $200 in two days. So, in reality, it's not much. I want to do my league for, for $50 a person, but nobody wanted to do that. And I ended up doing it for $25 a person. So, it was something, but I just wanted a little bit of high stakes. A little bit higher stakes, just so people would care a little bit more. Unlike in the past where people just don't, they just stop caring after they start sucking. But it worked out pretty well. Everyone, I think, tried for the most part the entire time, so. 
it was fun, and uh, I'm looking forward to next year. And I'm probably, honestly, and I'm going to try and draft the near same team that I ended the year with because I think a lot of them that I had are going to be underrated. Like Zach Stacy, the running back for the Rams. I think he'll be seriously underrated next year. And I'm going to hopefully enjoy his success again. Uh, maybe a guy like Keenan Allen, too. I think he'll be underrated as well. Alshon Jeffrey, I don't think as much, but he'll probably be a bit forgotten by the time the next season comes around, too. But maybe. Uh, I'm guessing Wes Welker will be also underrated yet again next year just because of the fact that he got hurt and didn't play for the playoffs. But... We'll see. I liked I liked pretty much my entire team. Josh Gordon's gonna be hell. He's gonna be way high up there. He'll be first. I don't know. He'll be a top three pick. I guarantee. Uh, not top three. Top three round pick. So, you know, it's it's something. But I'm gonna try and get most of my team. For, whoa! What the hell? Oh fuck me! Really? It booted me out of the fucking thing. All right. Well, the door's locked. Yeah, I got that. Well. I went all the way the fuck down there, and I got booted back out because I went through a door that apparently led fucking outside. How is that possible? I wanted a different door. What a bunch of bullshit. Alright, I didn't go this way last time, so let's go this way this time. This place is like huge! It's a mansion! What a mansion! You got nine tails? That's cool. I got like this thing that'll kill you good. But yeah. Also, I haven't I haven't really talked about this at all. Uh, well, I have talked about it a little bit. But Xbox One, uh, I talked about Spartan Assault last time, and I actually haven't talked about a game that I've played a lot of really. Uh, Peggle Two that came out a while ago, and I am pretty close to beating all the optional objectives. I have 170 of 180 right now for the optional objective, which there's 60 levels, and each of the levels have three different objectives. Uh, one of the objectives is always clear all pegs. Another one is to get an ace score, which is just a high score for that particular uh, level. And this is the bottom floor of the Pokemon Mansion. And then one other one that's either... Hey, a ditto. That's either... Um, finish this level with a certain amount of balls. Um, win the level without or with a certain Peggle Master, which gives them different powers. Uh, if you get a green peg, which is basically their master power. And... Usually, what's the other one? Oh, get a certain, like trick shot or a certain single ball shot which is usually done while getting the ace high score but it sometimes isn't sometimes i just do it randomly when i was going for all pegs and i'm like oh i must have gotten the uh the 50 000 one shot thing all right cool who i got in front now captain kick all right captain kick let's see what you can do here all right uh secret switch hell yeah i'll press that why not I can't go out that top door, but I can go out the left door. Full restore, that's not bad. All right. We can go this way, using the using the repel. So yeah, and it's actually funny, I'm so close to the uh, end of Peggle 2 that I thought to myself, oh, you know what I should do? I should get Peggle, the original game for the Xbox, uh, Xbox Live Arcade for the 360. I thought of that, uh either this morning or like yesterday afternoon and then when I go on Xbox Live yesterday it was the uh, Christmas Christmas Eve the deal of the day I saw on the main screen it's 90% off um, Plants vs. Zombies I was like ooh Plants vs. Zombies alright I buy that I, I played the demo for that in the Xbox Live Arcade it was $1.50, and I was like, hell yeah, I'll play that 90% off. Why not? 
And then I boot up the, the deal for the... Ooh, Blizzard. Nice. I boot up the deal for... The Plants vs. Zombies. It's fucking peggled! 90% off! I was like, are you cereal now? Are you super cereal right now? And I was like, 90% off peggle? Hell fucking yeah! I'll do that. Hey, secret key. I probably need that to get inside the uh, Pokemon gym. Let's just brick break this. Eradicate. That's super effective. And what do we got here? TM22 Solar Beam! What? That's crazy! And then we can use the escape rope to get out of here. Woo! Alright. No, it's just funny that that happened. And then there was uh, this other game. It started with a Z. I forget exactly what it was called. But it was sort of like Peggle, but not really. It was by PopCap Games, which is uh, people who made Peggle. But it was with a frog and you shot out... I'd call them pegs, mainly because of Peggle, but they shoot out different colored balls into the row, and you gotta just knock all of the... You gotta get three in a row of the color in order to knock it out. Hey, that secret key worked! And it's pretty fun. So, it was pretty fun. It was only a dollar, but I said, eh, no thanks. I don't need any more of that time-wasting stuff when I have Peggle. And the, there was a, a expansion to Peggle as well. Uh, Peggle Knights or something like that. And that was a dollar as well, so I was like, yeah, I'll buy that too. Why not? Yo, Champ Megan, the hot hitted Blaine is a fire type Pokemon Pro. Douse his spirits with water. You'd better take some burn heals too. Cinnabar Island. Dick! That motherfucker always beats me to gyms! Alright, so. I was a thief, but I went straight as a trainer. So, what you can do in this gym, if you did not already know, is that you can, um, like, answer a question over on the wall, over here, there's a, there's a machine, and, well, fuck, oh god, I almost killed myself there, Jesus Christ, that would have been, that would have been embarrassing, alright, so, brick break this time, yeah, okay, come on, there we go. Um, you can go over here and answer a question. Pokemon quiz! Get it right! Or dorms and then get it wrong. You face a trainer if you want to can... Get it right. Here we go. Caterpie evolves in the Metapod. That's correct! So you can either, you know, just answer the Pokemon question. Does this guy battle too? Do you know how hot Pokemon breathe fire? I don't know. Do you know... God. God, I fucked that up. But whatever. Uh, you can answer the question and just go through all these trainers without battling anybody, or you can just battle them for the experience and have a gay old time. Uh, more Vulpix. That's a one-hit KO. Nine tails, no problem. Well, a little bit of a problem. There we go. Captain Kick, you've done your job. Get out of here. Just get out of here. Go to the back. But, uh, I like to you know, battle all the trainers because it gives you more experience. Pokemon quiz! Get it right and the door opens the next room. Get it wrong and face the trainer. Yeah. Uh, there are nine certified Pokemon League gym badges. Hell yeah there are! You know Gary Oak? He got ten of them. Ah, oh, bad call. I've studied Pokemon thoroughly. You can't win. Oh no! This guy studied Pokemon. How can I ever win? How about Thunder Punch and a Thunder Punch? And how about some more Thunder Punch? Hey, you know what I haven't tried yet? Some Thunder Punch! Ugh! Sergeant Shock, you crazy. You the best Pokemon ever, Sergeant Shock. So much better than Schmuckers. Oh, Schmuckers, I miss you so much. Get it right, blah, 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 blah. Poliwag evolves three times. Hell yeah. It doesn't actually, because it only evolves twice. I like using fire type Pokemon. I just do. Well, thank you, Raymond. He's got one Ponyta, and now you're paralyzed. How do you like that? It's too hot to handle. It's just too hot. Too hot. Everybody thinks I'm too hot. Get it right. Blah 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 blah. Our electric type moves. Hell yeah, it is. They're super effective. I know why Blaine became a trainer. Because he wanted that Pokemon. Is that why? Jesus Christ. You are a fucking nerd. Got a Rapidash. That's pretty sick. Critical hit. Oh! Hit with recoil. You're dead. Suck it. Sergeant Shock of level 43 almost defeated you with that, you know, super critical hit and whatnot. But could not quite do it. 
and I believe that I'm just about at time so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk over to this dude and uh, take a look at this machine and say fuck it we're going more all right same uh, yeah that's true they're not identical absolutely correct but I'm gonna battle this guy anyway because you know what Momo don't care Momo don't give a fuck Growlithe here uh, yeah, that's right. It'll take down my thing because flying types moves are physical. And that's not Blaine yet, but that's all right. We're going to go heal up and we're going to take on this one last crony of Blaine before we get to the fire gym leader. And then it will be fantastic. In fact, I'm going to battle this dude right now because fuck it. Fire is weak against H2O. Very correct, sir. It is weak against the H2O. And I'm burned. Well, you know what? My attack's gotten fucking quartered now. I'll bring Bowser in here. Bowser, first time in as a ride-on. Thought it'd be next episode, but no, it's this episode because I decided to go all the way up until we got to Blaine. So there's Blaine. Look at that motherfucking mustache and glasses and all that shit. Woo! Glad we're here. All right, so going to heal up, come back. Battle Blend in the next episode. So I will thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.